Hey, Dad Bush, Chapel. Um, how's Derek Carter looking? Uh, good. He's he's been day to day, and and uh, you know, getting a little better each day. And in, in terms of a quarterback you face, I know you've got to go with Jerome and Trevor, um, but where does Drake kind of stand in your mind in terms of uh, draft prospects you've gone up against, whether that's Clemson or anywhere else at the quarterback position? Yeah, well, obviously, there's all types of you know quarterbacks, um, and uh, you know we've seen a bunch of great ones. Over the years, um, you know, whether they're a guy like Russell Wilson, you know, who's a, I don't know, is he 5'11", six foot, not a very big guy. Uh, and he's obviously had an amazing career and played a long time to, to you know, guys like, um, um, you know, Drake, who are obviously taller um, and, um, you know, big time, big time player. I mean, he's, he's a, He's you, he's his own guy. I don't really compare him to anybody. I mean, we've seen on you know, like I said, quarterbacks and come in all shapes and sizes. Football players um, are different, you know. Um, you know, and he's just a guy that can play the game at a high level, you know. So he's he's uh, he's a problem because you know he's a very accurate thrower and he he can make all the throws, but he's a really good runner. And he looks to run. Like, he's not a guy that avoids it. He he looks to run and creates a lot of explosives, both with his legs running and with his legs uh, buying time and then finding guys in the scramble drill. So he's just – he's just a – and then he and then he just understands the game. I mean, he really um, is a hard guy to fool. Uh, so, so one of the one of the great players that we've seen come through here over the last you know twenty one years that I've been at Clemson. I've seen a lot of great ones all over the place, both here on our practice field and and uh, others. And he's uh, he is every bit of as advertised. You know, I mean he he's he's a no doubt you know first round pick. Um, can't imagine that he would be. You know, less than first, second, or third. I don't know what all is out there, but um, he's 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 a really, really poised and special talent. Yeah, well, this is Larry speaking of comparisons. When you watch Walker and his top end speed, uh, who would you compare that to? Um, nobody really. I mean, he's same thing. I mean, he's his own guy. I mean, he's a great player. Uh, he's electric. Uh, he's got good ball skills. He's Got some explosiveness, um, you know, really good length. I mean, he plays big, plays long, plays fast. Um, I mean, he's just he's just a great player. I mean, you know, I don't really have anybody to compare him to. Uh, I think he's a great version of himself. Hey, coach, it's David Hood. As this season has progressed, and these this freshman class has continued to shine. And, do you think that they have had more of an impact maybe than any other freshman class you've had? Or, you know, do you have a freshman class you could own? Maybe that one was a little better right off the bat. I mean, I don't like, – not off the top of my head. I mean, I'd have to – I mean, I know our 2011 freshman class was pretty good. Sammy Watkins, uh, that was a pretty good group. Adam Humphreys, Martavis, uh, Sharon, um, Stephon Anthony. That was – I think that might have been Grady Jarrett. Uh, that was a pretty good freshman group, if I, if I recall. Uh, Deshaun Williams. So we, we've had a bunch of great freshman classes around here. I, I don't really, you know, I'd, I'd have to really sit down and lay it all out and declare a winner. Uh, but, you know, these guys certainly have uh, done a lot of good things. And I think poised, they've, they've, they've put themselves in position to um, – you know, do some great things uh, in the years to come. Yeah, but what's been your evaluation of uh, Wood as this season in terms of uh, just everything, uh, group season on, uh, snap count, performance, everything? Baller. Baller. He's a heck of a football player, man. He's, uh, he's, he's what you look for. I mean, he loves it, loves to play, loves to practice. Got a lot of football character, um, tough as they come, multi-position guy, uh, great leader, great teammate. I mean, he's he's had an awesome sophomore year, and um, 
you know, a guy that that's we got a lot of value. I mean, he scored. I mean, he's made a bunch of plays, and so he's a pretty good, true sophomore. Yeah, I, I I think, you know, really all these freshmen, offensively and defensively, that's one attribute that that I do love about this class. I mean, it's a physical group. It's a naturally physical group, uh, all of them, both sides of the ball. I mean, you know, Tyler Brown, um, you know, it, Ronan. Man, Ronan is a – that's a tough physical dude. Uh, Noble's the same way. Noble is he's, – he's a physical kid. Um, uh, Olsen. Marcus Dixon, Harris, uh, Flapjack, um, uh, Ian. I mean, they're all physical kids. Jarvis, Jay Haynes. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good group all across the board. And obviously, you've seen some guys over on the defensive side. Uh, but D. Creighton and Jamal Anderson, you know, we're super excited about what they bring. All those DBs that you've mentioned. You haven't really seen Robert Billings and Colin Webb. Uh, but these are two physical kids, two good athletes. Hopefully they can get maybe get a little bit of special teams time uh, down the stretch here. Now that now that they're not in danger of losing their red shirt, uh, but you know, you know all those D linemen, Burley, Steph Island, Peter, TJ. Uh, it's a it's a really good group of uh, you know physical guys. So we're excited about what we have. Obviously, you've seen some of them, but some of them you had. The other thing that I love about this group is they're competitive. They're, they're, they're a really, really, you know, competitive group. And it shows up in everything that they do. And, um, you know, got a, lot of, got a lot to be excited about with these guys. And then the redshirt freshmen. We got some redshirt freshmen, too, that, that you've been able to see. And uh, that, that's a part of that, really, that sophomore class that, that we're excited about. I'm sorry. Just keep it going, you know. They they they've settled in. They've done a nice job. Uh, just keep it going. I mean, let's just keep building some momentum. You know, do your job. Um, and uh, you know, I think I think they, like I said, have have really taken ownership and uh, taken a lot of pride in what they're doing. It, it's been a lot of opportunity for Trent. I think he's he's handled it well. Uh, Harris, uh, same thing. I mean, it's a true freshman, but he's. He's battling, and then I think Mitchell has settled in and and um, is doing a good job for us. And then really, Colin Sadler, you know, getting him back is huge for us. So you'll see all those guys play, and and uh, you know, so just continuing to build, you know, confidence and and momentum, uh, you know, within that within that group uh, as we finish. Our de against our defense, yes, yeah, just yeah, misfits. You know, one time we we were supposed to spill it and we didn't spill it. Uh, you know, and and one time we didn't we didn't uh, uh, communicate properly and and you know, so we didn't have a guy there that should have been there. So just just a couple of misfits and a couple of miscommunications, um, and uh, that's all it takes. You know, when you're playing good backs, that's a heck of a back for Georgia Tech. That's a heck of a back for Notre Dame now. I mean, if, you, if you're if you a gap short, those guys find it. That's what them great ones do, always. Uh, so so that that's really it. Um, thankfully, we were able to, to overcome it and settle down and, and uh, you know, play a heck of a game. Anybody else? Lost containment on the quarterback one time. You know, wasn't a misfit. Just We just lost containment. We, we kind of – made a up and under counter move a little too early and and uh, you're supposed to be containing it and you don't and guess what they find it and uh next thing you know they've run around you for a long ways like a touchdown so um 
you know, those are – and when you're playing man coverage, uh, you know, guys are run off. So it's even more imperative that we're gap sound and everybody does their job. Um, so – Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I mean, we'll we'll do all that. We'll do all of our breakdown and quality control, and we we keep historical data on all that stuff. But um, probably maybe a little bit more, but not much. You know, uh, you know, it just we some things turn into man. You know, based on formations and releases and things like that. Um, but uh, I mean, we we we've, we've been able to be pretty aggressive this year uh, because of. You know, our front, those guys have played really good for us.